I'm being joined here at ringside by one of the PYT's mean Mark Ash. And Mr. Ash, what's on your mind here today? I'm here to talk about my ICW Heavyweight Championship title. You know, there's been a lot of things with that over the past month. Alvin Koloff came to Clayton, North Carolina on January the 8th to try to take this title. He couldn't do it. Now I hear Jimmy Boogie Woogie Man Valiant in the area. Well, that's fine. Tell you what, Alvin Koloff, me and you, April 16th in Clayton, North Carolina, Russian chain match. Anytime, any place, I'll take you anytime. Time, well, what's this guy doing out here? I don't know. This is uh, not scheduled on our interview here. We've been joined by Mr. Rick Diesel here. Mark Ash, me and you, we've wrestled each other through the old AWF, through the ICW a while back. We had a long feud through the AIWF. We just sort of went our separate ways, faded out. Then I've been getting letters from the fans. I've been reading about stuff you've been saying about me in the magazines, and I just got sick of it. I ain't faded out. I don't care what the, I don't care what the fans think of me. I don't care what you think of me. You shut up, huh? I don't care what any of these other wrestlers and ICW think of me. I'm here for one reason, one reason only, to show you that I didn't leave. I've always been around, and I've always been one step behind you. So don't think that you've got away with none of the stuff you've said about me, I don't think you got away with any of it. I don't care to the fans. I don't care what they think of me. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what nobody else thinks of me. I'm back, and you will see what I can do now. You Tell you what, Harky, if we got time on this card, I'll put the title on the line right here today. Yes, I think we do. Rick Diesel wants some of me. I've beaten him before. He got lucky in a dog collar match in Mount Airy, North Carolina. But right here in Glen Alpine, North Carolina tonight, he's going to get his shot if he wants it that bad. We've got time, and fans will have this match today right here on ICW Championship Wrestling. So hang on. Okay, fans, our special grudge match here on ICW Championship Wrestling for the ICW Heavyweight Championship. We have the champion, Mean Mark Ash, taking on Rick Diesel. And Mr. Webb, your financial the advising. The weasel's going down, Jimmy. The weasel's going down. Well, we have some comments there from Mr. Ash, but what I was about to say is your man, Mean Mark Ash, is putting the title on the line here today against Rick Diesel. And have you advised him on this match? Uh, there's not really much I can advise him on. As I said before, it's been a long time since I've seen Rick Diesel. Uh, I don't really know what quite to expect out of him now. He's put on some weight. Uh, he's bulked himself up a little bit. Uh, it's really kind of hard to tell. But Mark Ash being the smaller of the two, I'm going to go with my man, of course. Well, Mark Ash looking pumped up and ready for this contest, as does Rick Diesel. I don't think either one of these guys are going to take the other one lightly. Mark Ash takes him, whips him into the ropes, comes off. Rick Diesel with a shoulder tackle there. Into the ropes, crossover on Mark Ash. Mark Ash up. Rick Diesel. Lock it up. Collar double lock up, backs him into the ropes. Is Mark going to give a clean break here? Oh, he probably will. Oh, 
rope. Off Rick Diesel into the rope. Reverses a hip toss and drives the fist into the forehead. Now, would, would you please pay attention to this match and stop shining that belt? <laughs> well, you know, you got to make it look good. You know, this is a belt that you need to take care of. This is a heavyweight title belt. The heavyweight champion of the world of the ICW, Mr. Mark Ash. Well, Mr. Ash is no stranger to the title. No, I'm not, not quite. Not quite. As a matter of fact, some years ago, Mark took a title for me. He's in another organization uh, at the time, which, you know, I'm not on a limb here. I really don't care for the organization anymore that I used to wrestle for. It was the CCWA junior heavyweight champion at one time. But, uh,. After losing the belt to Mark at that time, I just decided that I'd take a break from wrestling for a while and just take a vacation from it all. Oh! I tried to come back and got injured in a match against Mark Ash, and I tried to regain that title, and it put me out for a long time. It was a serious back injury, but, uh, you know, let bygones be bygones. Mark and I are very good friends now, and we, we take care of one another. We make sure we're well fed well dressed at one time you say but today you can see i'm kind of casually dressed rick diesel with a two count over mark ash there mark ash wanted to take a breather i think in the corner oh he, he drives the knee into the midsection of rick diesel while he wasn't looking come on got him on the rope him, baby. he's laying those forearms into the head take it to him baby Oh my goodness, what a blow to the top of the head on Rick Diesel. Now another one. Oh, and Rick Diesel coming back. A couple of shots to the midsection. And an elbow across the middle of the back. Oh, and he stretches that hamstring out there. And Rick Diesel going to the second rope. I got something on my clothes there. Yeah, you sure do. I just kind of, you know, the dust from the ring from all these matches this evening, and you're kind of getting a little dusty there, Ralph. I appreciate that. Uh, Rick Diesel has Mark Ash draped across the top rope. I, mean, I can't tell if he's choking him or not. Oh, he oh. kind of catapults him off there. Well, the fans here today are really loving this. Independent Championship Wrestling Action. Oh, well. What's not to enjoy about it? I mean, just found a new television champion. Uh, there was plenty of great semifinal matches earlier in the show. Uh, Gentleman James, definitely a true champion in my aspect. Uh, hopefully he can keep that title for a long time. Does him winning this title put him in line for a shot at the ICW Heavyweight Championship held by Mr. Ash? Oh, uh, well, usually as general rule applies, yes it does. Um, that would make him probably the number three contender with the U.S. champion at this time being the number one contender. Um, I don't know, number two contender, it's kind of hard to say. I usually don't go with the television champion as being a top contender, but was definitely in the top five, but not a top contender like one or two spots, no. Oh, Rick Diesel on the outside of the ring now. Mark Ash comes off of the top rope. Onto the concrete floor, right on top of Rick Diesel. But there is a man that Gentleman James will definitely need to look out for. Who would that be? Uh, his name is Mr. Ricky Rhodes. Ricky Rhodes. Ricky Rhodes. Man yeah. weighs well in 300 and some odd pounds. Who knows? There's, you know, there ain't no scale that can act, give an accurate weighing on him. Uh, that kind of reminds me of uh, what's his name? Dangerous Donnie or something like that. Is that his name? Yeah, that's that's right. Dangerous Donnie of the BCW. BCW, yes. You know, it, yeah, I've had the opportunity to see Ricky Rhodes in the past wrestle before. Yes. I uh, caught a match between him and Mr. Mark Ash here. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. He was wanting to sign a bull rope match with Mr. Ash, but I don't think they ever got that signed, so uh, maybe that's upcoming in the future. Oh, and a low bridge there by Rick Diesel takes Mark Ash down. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. They take any grown man down. And what's Rick Diesel going to do? Oh, he goes to work on the back of that left leg. What's he doing there? Oh, that, that really puts a strain on the leg. Stabilizes that, that muscle in the leg, and it just it causes serious pain. That will, that will even hurt someone as well-conditioned as Mr. Mark Ash is. Yes, yes, it will. Yes, it will. 
Well, Rick Diesel's kind of using the ropes for some leverage here. The referee James McCone doesn't see that from his vantage point. Hey, he doesn't see a lot of things from what I can see. Oh, he saw it this time. Well, yeah. Calling for the break. Give him credit where credit's due, as the old saying goes. Well, this is definitely going to put Mark Ash at a disadvantage here. Well, Rick Diesel right back to work on that leg. Oh, yeah. He's working on that left knee. And this is definitely going to take the air out of the tires of Mark Ash. I will agree. Will agree. I will say something about Mark Ash, though. He is a fighting champion. Yeah. I've seen him defend his title many times. Yeah. He'll take on all comers. Yes, he will. Speaking of all comers, where's Venom? Well, one understand Venom had an injury in another match that he had. Uh, he has been taken to the hospital. Yeah. Haven't heard about his condition now, but he was burned in the eye. Oh, right, right at fortune. At the hands of John Sullivan in a tag team match. John Sullivan. I've seen him wrestle too. He's a very good wrestler. Very good. But speaking of Venom, you know, we've, we've recently signed a contract with him for an upcoming match in the near future for his BCW Junior Heavyweight Champion. You know, as you always say, Mark likes those prelim matches, as they call them. Give him warmed up for those top title matches, as the old saying goes. Rick Diesel still working on that left leg of Mark Ash. Mark having trouble standing at this point. Yeah. Oh, and a low bridge of his own. Doubles over Rick Diesel and he follows it up with a knee lift. Beautiful knee lift. Way to go, Mark. Way to go. Mark right up above us. Oh, drives in an elbow smash. He's really favoring that knee there, Mr. Whip. Well, I mean, he has had an injury to that knee before, some long, long time ago when he was a younger man. Uh, it reoccurs, you know, just like old injuries, wrist injuries, back injuries. If you're not careful, they can really be taken care of. Oh, and he tries to pick the man up for a body slam, and that knee gives out. A quick two count. Rick Diesel laying the top of that boot right across the throat. Two count. And there he is back in with that top of that boot right across the throat. Excuse me there, this match getting a little boring for me. Oh, and he misses that knee drop. And is Mark Ash going to capitalize on this situation? Let's hope. Oh, my goodness. I think this will slow Rick Diesel down somewhat. Right there, really stretch the man's neck out. Really stretch it out. Well, when you control the head, you control the rest of the body. That's for sure. True. True. Lifts him into the turnbuckle, reverses. Rick Diesel, he's going to follow it in. What's he going to do? The chop to the man's chest, throws him in. Oh, and up and over that top turnbuckle. What's he doing? He's going to the top. And he comes, oh, that Rick Diesel slams him off of the top rope. Starts laying the boots on him. He goes for a pin. One, two, but he didn't hook the leg. He didn't hook the leg. A veteran such as himself, he should have known to hook the leg. Should have known. Especially a, a veteran like Mark himself, too, would know that. So Mark had the upper hand by kicking out with both legs. You gotta hook that leg, man. You gotta well, hook that leg. Mark Ash finds himself once again on his back, right in the middle of the ring. And Rick Diesel once again back to work on that leg. I think he thinks this is gonna be his key point to winning this match, is that leg. Work on this leg. You know, Mark's not a very large man, but still yet, you take a man's leg out, he can't walk. He can't walk, he can't wrestle. The only thing you can do, and Mark is definitely not a ground wrestler. He's more of a high-flying wrestler, as you can tell. Well, now he's moved down a little bit from that knee, working on the ankle. Come on, Mark. Do what you got to do. Well, he said earlier, when he came out and interrupted your interview, that he was not interested in fan applause. 
He was just in there to get the job done, and that's it. It looks like that's what he's doing. Yes. Whips Mark into the ropes. Misses the clothesline. Mark comes off with a clothesline of his own. Takes Rick Diesel down. Mark Ash is going out of the ring. He's going up to the top. Rick Diesel is getting up, however. He turns around. It goes! A big shoulder tackle off of the top rope. Rick Diesel tied up in the ropes here right at our announcer's table. And I don't want him to fall out here on me. I don't know what's going on here. Well, I think we better move out of the way here a little bit. Well, Rick Diesel, I'm glad I'm not sitting where I was sitting. Rick Diesel is down in the chairs here at the announcer's table at ringside. David Webb has moved off with the ICW Heavyweight Championship belt. Mark Ash has made his way back into the ring. Referee James McCone administering the 10 count on Rick Diesel. We'll see how far he will get before he gets back in the ring. Sorry for the interruption there, Mr. Webb. Well, well, you know how it is. Uh, I didn't want to get in the middle of that myself. Two men definitely going at it toe to toe, head to head. Oh, Mark with a beautiful cross body block. One, two. Not enough to hold the man down, though. Definitely. Well, Mark had the upper hand there when Diesel's down. He should have jumped in the ring a lot. Oh, than Mark Ash had. pushing referee James McCone, and McCone firing back with a push of his own. You do not want to push the official around. Okay. Wrestlers get fined when they touch referees. Why don't referees get fined when they touch the wrestlers? Well, that's a good question. And I don't know that I have an answer for that. It, it, it just astounds me. Why? They both men down from a big tackle right in the middle of the ring. Who will get to their feet first? Rick Diesel. Rick Diesel is going to make it to his feet first. Drops the big elbow right across the chest of Mark Ash. You, like myself, have been witnesses of seeing fans jump out from ringside, jump into the ring and get injured and try to sue the rest of the system at. Look, if you're man enough to jump in that ring, you should be man enough to take a beating. Therefore, the referee shouldn't touch the wrestlers. And yes, I will agree, the wrestlers should not touch the referee. Well, these are things that should only be carried out by professionals experienced in the ways of the ring. Exactly. Highly and trained professional athletes. That's why you should never the try these now. things at home. Exactly. And Rick Diesel moves out of that turnbuckle, and Mark Ash crashes into that top turnbuckle and rolls over the top onto the concrete floor. Uh, both men are definitely out now. I mean, I see the referee right now should be counting instead of watching it. I mean, he's not doing his job. They need a, a referee in there that's going to count and do the job properly. Oh, my goodness. Rick Diesel rams the shoulder, the left shoulder of Mark Ash, into the ring post. Oh, and a chair across the head. This thing has gotten wild here at ringside. Yes, quite a bit. Rick Diesel. Hey, Diesel doing a smart thing by breaking the count. He's back in the ring just long enough to break the count. He rolls yep. Mark Ash back in. Oh, and he's on his man right in the middle of the ring. Only a two count, though. He's not hooking the leg again. I think he's going to take... Well, he's trying to take advantage of his closeness to the ropes there, but referee James McCone saw that. And he's back to work on that leg again. Yes, he is. Don't that towards your ankle more this time also, as you said before. Mark Ash has got to be careful here because while he's lying there in pain, he's putting those shoulders to the mat, which could almost, almost, not careful, he's not careful. Come up with a three count, yes. Come on, Mark, let's go. Well, this match has been tooth and nail all the way, not a man giving an inch. Inch, foot, oh, uh, bulldog. Ugh, that'll really jar your noodles as the old thing goes. Well, Rick Diesel lying face down on the mat. Well, he is moving now. I'm worried about Mark him not moving. for the top rope once again, you know. Another this, aerial tactic. I really don't like the idea of Mark doing this against another experienced wrestler such as Rick Diesel. Mark takes a lot of chances when he does that in injuring himself. Therefore, he can't defend his title if he injures himself. And therefore, he could lose the title by not defending it within a certain amount of time. Well, he has Rick Diesel draped across the rope, and he's bouncing off the opposite ring rope. And, oh, he misses that one. I mean, Rick Diesel catches him. One, two. Close two count. Three count. Real close. Real Very close. close. I was about to say he's bouncing on him while he's draped across the rope, reminiscent of what 
Ivan Koloff used to do. Oh, yes. Mark a little disillusioned there, it appears. I hope he's okay. You know, he's a little too close to... Well, both men in the ropes. Rick Diesel trying to use the ropes to his advantage, and Mark Ash had the same idea about putting that foot across the rope. Experienced ring veteran. That's what it is. That's Experience. exactly right. Experienced ring wrestler always knows how far he is from the rope. Well, Rick Diesel out rolls Mark Ash they go again. out to that concrete floor again. I think they've been on the floor just about as much as they've been in the ring. <laughs> it's what it appears today, huh? Referee James McCone giving the 10 count on Mark Ash. He's up to a five count. What is he doing here? Well, I think Rick Diesel's going to break up the count here and not let his man back in. Well, Mark Ash is down on the outside of the ring. I don't know if he's by taking now, a breather. Could have been at least a 10 count by now. Well, Rick Diesel interrupted that count. Mark Ash Where still down. Oh, Mark Ash is oh, coming up on the other side of the ring here. Peekaboo trick as he goes. As he goes. Oh. And what a right hand, right to the jaw by four Mark Ash. Two to four, Rick Diesel goes. And he's giving him a little bit of his own medicine. I wonder if he'll do the same thing Mark just pulled. I don't think he's that smart. Well, Mark Ash taking Rick Diesel and ramming his head into the chairs at ringside. Mark Ash making his way back into the ring to interrupt the count on him. But the count will continue on Rick Diesel as long as he's outside the ring. Mark Ash looking a little groggy here. I think he's beginning to feel the wear and tear of this match. Yeah, uh, Hubby's doing all right. There's nothing I can really do sitting here doing what little bit commentating I am with you. I'm trying to pay attention to the match to make sure nothing happens to Mark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who just, look who just come walking in the building. Is that Venom with an eye patch? Yes, it looks like Venom. Brought somebody else in with him other than, uh, who was that with him? I didn't even it get looked like, look. It looked like in Sweet in. Daddy Brown and Too Funky. Too Funky? What happened to his hair? Somebody cut it on him or something? Too close. Well, look, look here, Mr. Webb. Looks like Rick Diesel has a, uh, I can't tell what it is, some kind of foreign object, but he just threw it and it's on the top of ring rope. The referee James McCone hasn't seen this. He <laughs> On his, oh, he throws it to the floor, Mr. Webb. Yeah, whatever that was. It could have been a shoestring. Who knows? Well, the fans at ringside are trying to point out what Rick Diesel had. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Rick Diesel right into the turnbuckle here, almost catching that ring post. That hurts. Mark Ash bringing him off, laying a right hand right into the jaw. He's draped over the ropes here at ringside. Come Mark, on, Mark hooking him. What is he going to do? It's going to be a short snap suplex right in the middle of the ring. Mark Ash just sort of laying on Rick Diesel. Both Come men on, Mark, down. Mark makes it to his feet first. What is he going to do now? Oh, a knee drop right across the base of the skull. And that could really knock a man out. Both men are getting kind of tired and everything. They've been in there, what, a good 20 minutes now? Almost 30 minutes they've been in that ring. Pretty close to it. You can really tell the conditioning of an athlete by how long they can go. Yep. Nice elbow drop, nice elbow drop. <laughs> Rick Diesel. All right. Oh, to the outside oh, of the God, ring. Again. Mark, come on, gotta keep him in the ring and pin him. Let's go. Mark Ash. Well, he goes to the outside of the ring also. Come on, Mark, I'm getting hungry. Let's go home. As I said, they've spent more, about as much time on the floor as they have in the ring. Oh. Referee James McCone counting. Boy, this is really, oh, fighting fire with fire here. Fire Both fire. men not giving an inch, taking it to each other. Right at ringside in the laps of the fans here. Oh, he throws him into the, oh, and referee James McCone has called for the bell and has ruled this match a double count out. Neither man answering the count 
and making it back in the ring. And oh, they continue to fight here at ringside. Rick Diesel has a, the guard rope wrapped around the throat of Mark Ash right at ringside. Look as the fans look on in amazement here. Well, Rick Diesel threatening the official here. Well, as you know, fans, the title does not change hands on a disqualification or a count out. So Mark Ash does retain the ICW Heavyweight Championship. And they're really, they're taking it to the they are floor here. Mark Ash with a chair. Oh, right across the back of Rick Diesel here. Have a seat, Diesel. Have a seat. Mark Ash retains the ICW Heavyweight Championship. You don't touch the belt. And Mr. Webb, once again, your man has won. Thank you very much, Mr. Harkey. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And that concludes another taping of ICW Championship Wrestling. We hope you've enjoyed the matches this week. We'll see you next week. And he has just retained the ICW Heavyweight Championship in a very hard-fought match against Rick Diesel. And is Rick Diesel going to be in your future? I'll put it this way. Rick Diesel's tougher than what I remembered, but this by far is not over. Rick Diesel, I understand you're one of the main men in AIWF. Well, I'll be in the IWF on March the 12th, and you will be in the future of the ICW. I will be in President Bob Baker's office tomorrow morning. We will be discussing this in detail. And once and for all, I'm going to kick your butt. Now you're only going to be out of the ICW, you're going to be out of professional wrestling. I'm in your career. Some strong words there by Mean Mark Ash, the ICW heavyweight champion. Fans, that's going to wrap it up here at ringside for the ICW this week.